Hey, hello everybody, this is Purge, and I'm bringing you guys another gameplay for Dota Cinema here. I'm going to be playing Invoker. Um, I know we've been wanting to get this up for about a week now, but I am now getting the chance to do it. Um, hopefully going to have a good time. Um, <laughs> Tony is such a noob. Please, God, go top. Yes, he's going. Alright, if you guys are wondering why Boots started, this is because... Uh, I'm soloing the bot lane, and that means I'm going to be up against people that are trying to murder me, so for a while it's going to be a little dangerous. Okay, I guess uh, Orange, or I'm sorry, the Omni Knight is going to have to poop. Now, the reason I did pick Invoker this game, we had a Bloodseeker, Lich, and a Sniper, so most of the carry potential is already by far taken up, so we need a solo bottom. And I'm mostly worried about the Omni Knight. Omni Knight's kind of a pain in the ass to fight against, and this is because of Repel and just general casting of spells. So if I go for an EMP Tornado build, which is what I'm going to aim for this game, um, I can uh, disable, or at least lower his mana pool a lot, and put ourselves in a really good teamfight situation. Now, Klinks is still going to be a problem if he gets his uh, farm up, and they do have decent enough nuke potential. Crystal Maiden and Leshrac are going to disable me, but um, we will see how all this goes out. So once again, Boots start because I'm soloing the bot lane. That's this way I can get XP. And if I get ganked, I'm going to be faster than them and hopefully can get away. This is the only case, pretty much, where Boots start is good enough. <laughs> uh, that's rough. Proof also failed. Uh, I'm playing with two friends, uh, Fatter Day here and Twisco. So both Lich and Earthshaker neglected to buy a courier. So we'll see how this goes. It's gonna be iffy. All right. Anyways, um, Invoker is a pretty interesting hero. Um, it's uh, you can cast all of these different spells depending on what your orbit or your combinations of Quas, Wex, and Extort are. Generally, when you play, you want to focus on two of the three. You can do three builds where you level them equally, but then you end up having a lot of skills that aren't necessarily very powerful. And this there is the go. Alright, here we go. Once again, I do have boots, so I'm going to want to block this as much as possible. Can't just yes. uh, take it easy. Avowedly. Even if Lich got it, his gauntlet start wasn't Away a very good decision. Hence. And then because of the fact that uh, I don't necessarily want to get caught off guard, I'm going to go down here. So I'm going to be up against a Lesh with a Clinks. And I'm gonna not get any last dead on purpose, I right? Am I right? Because Clinks wants to harass, but I don't really care because he doesn't have a lot of regen either. And if I can just get last hits, man, I am happy. I'm gonna eat two hits, but that's okay. Now, with the Quas Orbs up, I do get regen from these, so I'm pretty okay with this lane situation already. I'm gonna get some free last hits. It's all the same to me. It is tedious. Oh man, the legacy hotkeys work. Holy shit, what do I do now? Of course. Uh, crap. Crap. Oh my god, I got oh, used to using non-legacy hotkeys and now I'm gonna have to use, uh... Legacy hotkeys. And the, the main problem is... Oh god, this might be like a major problem here. Is the fact that... Well, first of all, I'm fighting two ranged heroes. That's not fun. Don't really want him to get a die ball geeked off. But let me just check my hotkeys quick. Level up, level up, level up. Oh, I don't know where to look. Oh, god. Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> not good. And that's gonna give me first <laughs> Alright, so indeed I just checked. <laughs> that was the most high skilled first blood you've ever seen, and you know it. Don't even try to lie to me. That was uh, extremely highly skilled. Um It's not time yet. Get him. Get him. No! Alright, so I died. Um Definitely overextended should be in another tango, uh, but that's okay. I did get the first blood, so I'm not uh, entirely sad about that. 
I'm gonna pick up one of these and a bunch of ironwood branches just to boost up my HP a little bit. I almost killed Clinks there. It was definitely closer than it probably should have been. But once again, my hotkeys are all messed up, so now my leveling up is gonna be weird. And I may have to revert. God, now I can't level up for free. That is the problem, basically, is that my uh, all my hotkeys are different than what they... I played Invoker the last two weeks as uh, non-Legacy and uh, got used to it, so... I don't know, we'll see how this works out. <laughs> Alright, got another kill. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up another quas level just to be sure that I'm moderately survivable, and I'm gonna go towards some phase boots here. So I'm gonna pick up that that uh, blade of attack. A small annihilation. Now the, the Leshrac made a big mistake there, he got o way overly aggressive. He thought that he was going to be absolutely fine, but I had a huge creep wave and I still had cold snap. Don't think I'll get that last hit yet. Two bottom missing. And once again, I am soloing the bot lane, which is scary. I can always do a fast uh, ghost walk if I need to. If somebody comes ganking me, I can go invisible. And I don't know where Klinx is, but he is somewhere and doing I something that's probably not worth his time. Methinks you wanted that. I did want that. So it is said. And now I'm officially outlaning the Leshrac, which is wonderful. Klinx is gonna continue in mind. trying to be a boss. And I'm gonna have to switch to Quas now, but that's okay. Because I'm regening 9 HP per second just from that. And with my boots, I'm pretty fast, of course, so... Clink should be the one last hitting, but he's not. He is literally their hard carry this game. And we have a sniper and a bloodseeker. By the way, Tony, in teamfights, you're gonna silence Omni Knight every single time. See, they, they kind of lost their timing window to be aggressive. I, they can't really harass me down anymore. I have three levels of quas, so... Um, I mean, they could burst me down, but... I mean, look how much HP I'm regening right now. I don't even need to get a Ring of Health. Just naturally having these quas abilities is giving me uh, the regen to stay in my lane. Oh god. I tried to do it again. I'm gonna have a sloppy game here. Just if you guys are wondering, I literally played Invoker like... three or four times last week, and got used to different hotkeys for... For these, so it's going to be back to how you played him in Dota 1, at least for now. And we'll see how well I can perform that. Fine. Last hit. Well away. I'll not be interrupted. Oops. Thus and so. It's got a stout shield, that's really weird. All things fall. I'll keep These guys are not very good at last hitting, and I'm really accomplishing a lot right now by soloing here. The most important thing about Invoker is really just getting levels up. Something that I'm definitely accomplishing right now. Fine. I may not be getting tons of farm, but I don't really have to care. If I'm shutting down the enemy carry, I am happy. And I can switch between the Wex and the Quas Orbs. So Wex once again makes me run fast and attack fast. Quas makes me heal up. If I'm full HP, don't really need to sit on the Wex or the Quas. I'm sorry. Concentration. Orbs light my path. I need to get my uh, other blades of attack here, but I haven't had a chance on the side shop. <laughs> Alright, and uh, I can now queue up a new spell, because I leveled my invoke to level 2. This is the maximum spells you can have up at a time. Someone should go buy, back and buy a courier when they get a chance. I should have done that before. So I should have done it when I died, I didn't think about it. Not you, Tony, let one of the sports do it. Alright. 
tornadoes on now and X. Who threatens my concentration? You should gank Tony. Insipid. I'm well aware of it. Probably way past level six. He plays a lot of Bloodseeker now, I know. This bores me. Denied. Fight me. Ill luck upon you. Tis so I use my tornado ability. Over yon. You dare fight me? I really want to buy new items, but I haven't had the chance yet. Yes. Looks like he wants to get a gank off. I'm gonna switch to some wax right now. I might, there might be like an arrow coming in or something like that, so I'm just gonna play safe for just a little bit since he went invisible. We are losing by two kills, but it's not a big deal. Short sighted of you. On to battle. I am not committed. I really wish I had a courier, but I do not. <laughs> Alright, and now that my Quas is at 3, I'm gonna pretty much level up my Wex to Max. I am committed. Oops. Hearken unto me. Okay, good. Phase Wand Bracer. Alright, so Courier's on its way. I have pretty much max mana. They still have a Ring of Aquila, but they're not really accomplished anything by dual laning against me. I have a big level advantage. Their chances of killing me are actually very low. I mean, they're denying and stuff, but... Tony, you really should have ganked bottom like a long time ago, man. Over yon, dominate. With uh, a single Bloodseeker, we'd be doing absolutely fine, but we're getting out. Our team is getting outplayed. I don't really know what's going on. We have better lanes, but our team is making a mistake. Profitable engagement. Regeneration. With speed. And I'm quite fast now because I have phase boots with my Wex. Such tea. If you can uh, silence Bloodseeker, or I'm sorry, the. Uh, yeah, they have wards, looks like. Yes. They just backed up. Silence him first, he can go invis. Okay, guess he wants to go. Alright, so I'm gonna back up there. Switch to some quas. But knowledge is power. Quas Frigoris. Okay, so <clears throat> I could have just ran back to base, but I kinda committed there, which worked out fine for me. Switch to Wex, I had my cold snap ready as soon as he showed, because I knew he was going to show, like a bad person. Uh, Mirana is apparently destroying this game, and she is 5 0 and 0 which is not as good as my 4 one and 0 um, So this could be an issue. I'm probably going to finish my drum quick, uh, or at least get close to finishing it. I'm still healing up is the problem. I mean, I gets killed at least, and it looks like, yeah, they're going to kill Crystal Maiden as well. So that's good stuff. Clinks is back. Still regening up. I'm gonna play it safe just for a while until I get healed up all the way. Looks like I can do a combo. I'm gonna play it safe for now, but I will have it queued up. So EMP Tornado is really the bread and butter of the build that I'm going here. Uh, I need to be regening. What am I doing? The bread and butter of what I'm doing is EMP Tornado. I'll drain their mana in a team fight, and then they won't be able to cast spells. And then I can have my way with them, yeah. is kind of the way that it works out. Who is coming? So it is said. Tony's 
Tony is really bad at ganking. A, he doesn't really know what he's doing. Tony, you should probably get a Diffusal Blade, by the way. Diffusal Black King Bar, I think. He probably does not to use that really effectively, but... Alright, and Tony will save me. He might not get another kill, but it's okay. I'll keep it in mind. Alright, I'm gonna run back there. This I might be able me. to get a another tornado EMP out. With speed. Um yeah, you can do a radiance if you want. Fourth wind. I'm so sloppy. Did yes. I actually get him? Oh, looks like I got him. I can't believe my EMP actually hit. I was doing that so sloppy because my I'm not used to my hotkeys yet, but it worked out, so that's great. Alright, so I'm gonna run top, I'm gonna buy some TP scrolls. It's like Earthshaker may end up dying. Nope. He is fine as shit. I don't know why everybody is diving like crazy, but Heal up to the max. That was a mistake. What does this priestess have? Alright, good. My other hockeys work. <laughs> Alright, Bloodseeker's doing better now. Fine. See, Sniper came to the bot lane. You know, Sniper, you could farm mid if you want. I can just hang out here. Like, somebody should be farming mid. And he's probably not gonna leave. Because I'm playing with some mediocre players, but I guess I'm going mid. He's gonna die now in the bot lane, because it's not as safe for him. By far. I'm gonna maybe try to get a kill, though, because I have these illusions now. Yeah, we can kill, uh... So, as you can see, Invoker has a lot of uh, usability. I'm gonna pick up one of these and another Wex, and I'm gonna switch to Quas here while I push just to get my HP up. It's all about using your abilities in uh, kind of like chess, and usually the main three that you rely on are Cold Snap and Tornado and um, EMP. Cold Snap, Tornado, EMP, that's pretty much your bread and butter, and that, that was used very effectively there. Mostly the cold snap, that's why I went for a gank, because illusion, um, every time you do damage, you get an extra little bit of damage from the cold snap. And then I just used the tornado once he left away, to, so that I could continue to chase, and use my wex, and my phase boots, and my drums to have a lot of movement speed, and end up being able to actually pick off the kill, which I did very well there. So, looking like we're going to get this tower. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Give me that tower. Oh my god. He looks dead. Yep, and he does die. So that was a mistake. I'm gonna go buy a point booster. I'm actually gonna go straight into an Agatum Scepter just because my early game has been pretty good. Um, tower has he's actually out of mana, the EMP did actually hit him. Oh, that was really bad. That was really bad. This last hitting like a pro. Alright, so I'm gonna EMP this guy. A charming hex. Don't even give a shit. Thither I go. I'm not ready. Learn how fragile you are. <laughs> nice job. That was so much damage. We bursted him down quite aptly. 
Now downside to going this build is now we have no mana. Let's swing top and take top tower. Sniper, you can hang out here. Everybody keep it on the map. If he gets ganked, we gotta cover him. But we can take top tower now. Wait for uh, 8 seconds for a rune. 9-10. But we can take top. We have Chain Frost, so we can still have good team fights. Um, looks like Sniper's going to Lothar's. I don't like that build myself, but it works Such in pubs. It really like kind of depends on whether or not the enemy team gets uh, sentries or not. So I'm just going to auto-attack here. I want to push the lane as much as possible. <coughs> And if a team fight ends up breaking out, I can still do an EP tornado. I, c I only have um, EMP ready to go, but that is okay. Um, I'm gonna pick up an extra short. Um, this is what I want to do. And there we go. So now I oops, and I found a clinks as well, but I just drained a lot of mana out of the uh, the dude. I'm kind of out of mana, so. Can I have those I arcane? Proceed. Please. Use it, arcane. Yes. Uh, I just got rocked, but that's okay. So we just destroyed the team fight, mostly because we saw a beast fissure come out of the Earthshaker. Uh, I think, yeah, Prove died, but we got four kills, <laughs> so that's worth it. You dare fight me? And now we're going to try to take a tower, since I have two dead. I got really lucky with my tornado, though. It has a bug where it currently removes Clinks and Viz, I think, which is uh, not normal or or fair. But my attacks were enough to even help out. I really just did, like, a cold snap and cleaned up really hard, so... And I get the last hit, so I'm getting really close. As you can see, I just need a thousand gold more, and then I'm gonna have my Aegon Scepter. From there, it's gonna be mana cost, um, <clears throat> being able to cast more spells, but I'm pretty much gonna be okay. Oops, oh god, that was scary. I almost died. I'm gonna even Tornado, because I know they're probably chasing me. It's gonna send them in the air, and they will stop the chase, but that, that was actually really, that was a stupid mistake that I almost died to that. I'm gonna try to pick up the DD runes so that they don't get it. I will now run mid and farm for a little bit until I get my Aegon Scepter, and then the real fun starts. And then you guys can eventually see, like, but, but let's look at Invoker so far. I started off in a lane that I probably shouldn't have won. They're trying to kill me again. I started off in a dual lane against two ranged heroes. They're invisible, they're invisible, everybody run. That's an illusion. No, it's not. I got that kill because... Oh my god, I missed it. That's okay. I'm gonna chase him. I have a DD still. I'm not too worried. That was a big DD. I even pop my drums because I want to get this kill. <laughs> Good job, guys. Alright, and now I'm going to level up my um, <coughs> my abilities, my ex my exhort. It's not extort, I say that wrong sometimes. It's okay, don't worry about it. Now we're going to kill this Hirsch, or this, <laughs> this dude because he's an idiot. Throws his life away. We're going to be able to take a tower now. And I have this, so let's grab that. Aegonim Scepter is on the way. And what the Aegonim Scepter does for the Invoker is it gives him more cooldown on Invoke. This spell is literally what lets me cast more abilities. So if my fingers are fast enough to press the combos, I can cast obscenely fast. At level 4, the cooldown goes down to like 2 seconds or something instead of 5. So, But even picking up right now is a big deal because you know before I hit level 17... I'm just going to be able to cycle this like crazy. I'm going to be limited by mana, as you can see. I don't have a ton of mana right now, but... Um, might even be able to get a, ga a gank off on this Clinks. Alright, I'm going to EMP Tornado. 
and we're gonna send him off. And we kill him anyways. Nice job. He did do a blink echo slam, which does a lot of damage. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. That was a good gank. Um, worked out fine. I'm afraid this game's gonna end too fast, so I won't actually have enough time to cast fun things, but that's okay. We'll be able to take all the towers and then have a team fight. Who's that, Teal? I wish I had 10 extra mana, but I don't. I'm just gonna glyph up. <coughs> A little bit of cold snap. I'm just trying to stun her so that she can't get away. Yeah. And even the ulti doesn't end up surviving. That is a clinks. I'm gonna attack him. <laughs> and I just cast a new spell that you haven't seen before. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. They still have a few heroes up. Looks like we got Priest and Moon, which is good. I am a beacon of knowledge blazing out across a black sea of ignorance. I think he's right, he has a slot. Alright, I'm gonna teleport home to fill up my mana pool. I'm gonna buy another TP scroll. Use my fancy little hockey over here. It should be set mindset to period at least. <clears throat> and now I think I know what I'm gonna set my new level up hockey is. I'm gonna set it to a six instead of Y. I was using Y before, but I'm gonna use the number six, because I never use that hockey. Alright, so now I'm going to go for a sheep stick, probably. If I can get a sheep stick, if Clinks ever tries to kill me, I can just sheep him. That easy. So I'm going to pick up a Void Stone now. Either way, I wanted to get a Void Stone. I could have used a, a Yule Scepter or something else, but... My cooldown for for my ulti is now obscenely low, so... So as long as I know my finger combinations, things are no problem. I can just spam cast. Let's take top tower, and then we should be able to push a Rax and win. But in every team fight now, I should be casting at least four spells. At least four spells, for sure. If I'm not casting four spells, I'm not playing the uh, Aghanim Scepter correctly. I don't even really need farm that much anymore. Now that I have the uh, the Void Stone and the Aghanim Scepter, I'm pretty much set. It's like the Sniper really doesn't have that great of items, but it's not a big deal. And now that I have uh, EMP and Tornado on specific hotkeys, as you can see, draining 400 mana, doing uh, currently like 100, 200 damage or something like that. Alright, so there's a bunch of guys mid, but we don't really care. So I'm just gonna hit this really hard. They will be coming. They might be... Yep, they are thinking about coming in. I was scared they were gonna... There's an arrow. <clears throat> I was scared that they were going to do a... a Potom ulti initiation, that's why I backed up carefully there. Best tornado ever! Am I right? I believe we did actually. Oh, I got stunned. I'm not ready. No, it's definitely the best ult ever. Your bottom tower. Yeah, just take top. I am oh. committed. Lost bottom to a clinks. That's not good. I'm well aware of it. From the I'm gonna switch to Quas for a second just to get healed up a little bit. An incantation long remembered. Hearken unto me. Scan the arrow. Explore the tornadoes of the great. Pass we go. Yes. Uh, I was trying to get the ghost walk off. I actually tried to cast her right there, but I accidentally miscued. 
<clears throat> and I made a ice wall instead, so that was sloppy. I'm not playing as fluid as I was last week, still from the hockey is messing up, like the ice wall is now G, which is something I was not used to, but um, ice walled and I was going to ghost walk, I think I was still within tower range, but I was kind of slow anyway, so I deserve to die there. That's okay. And I did forget my wand, you're right. Yep, I read that in chat now, I've definitely forgot my wand, could have popped my wand. But that's what happens. That's what happens when you get overwhelmed, is you forget stuff like that. I, that definitely could have saved me. I could have uh, popped my ghost walk there. Alright, they are now pushing top. I had a pretty big killing spree, so um, I died for extra long. I don't think they're going to come back from this. I kind of hope they do, actually, though, because that means I'm going to get to use my Aghanim Scepter more, and they're really not that farmed at all. Your top is under attack. Oh, here. Okay, I'm not playing this very well. I wish my uh, invoke was level 4. It could have done that much better. I was really sloppy. I am not happy with my performance, damn it. Yeah, up on the hill they were up there for sure. Pretty much. Not for sure, but probably. Come on. And if you guys are curious how I knew that, I saw the, uh, the blessed track walk up and I was like, well, I know what he just did. Yeah. You dare fight me? This farm is too good. Where's the sniper? Why is he not farming this amazing farm? Yes. Oops, I fail. Alright, so there is Tornado. There is EMP. What does he have? He's got a Mjolnir. We have a Bloodseeker who's working towards BKB. Fine. So apparently I don't sh they don't shoot that far. <laughs> I tried to tornado that, but... What is this sniper doing? Is he jungling in their jungle? Are you kidding me? This guy is like jungling in the enemy jungle. He's playing like the squishiest hero in the game. He's like, you know what? We've got some fucking jungling to do. It's like, come on, dude. Go farm somewhere safe. It's not I that hard. Committed. Like, this is perfect. That's the perfect area of the map to farm on. And he's hanging out in the jungle. Prove you should have gotten the neck. Yes, I can cast like crazy. Alright, push bottom. Actually, uh, let's clear this wave and fake push and then rush in. Such tedium. Let's see if this uh, sniper actually shows up or not. <clears throat> As needs be. Tornado. Tornado. If you guys would have fucking hurried, we'd be fine. With speed. I wish somebody could. There we go. I can cold snap. Cold snap is so good. Roshan has fallen to the bro, bro, blood seeker, blood seeker. Tis team mortality. Um, I want to get a sheep. 
Just keep farming, I guess. Definitely not there, that is for sure. Alright, I'm gonna pick up a quas level. God, we really need a mech. Prove you should make a mech immediately. Look at the sniper. He's like playing solo this game. <sighs> Noobs, man. Noobs. I did my combo a little badly. Ruptured that. My mind, grief, elementals. All right now that Oops. I proceed, behold. Now that I have two level or four levels in both quaffs and uh, extort, I can summon two forge spirits instead of one. It's a spell I really don't like using, um, unless. Uh, Sloppy now. Leg to leg leg. Aha, that is why my uh my thing that makes it my screen less dark or less bright just turned on. Leave me alone. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Learn how fragile you are. Oops, wrong button. I press D again. <laughs> I tried to ice wall, I swear to god, guys, I swear. I tried to ice wall, I press D, it didn't work. It's G. From the great mystery. Avowedly. One of my an ally from naught. I'll keep it in mind. It's so bad. Ghost the enemy's walk. bottom barracks has fallen. Away, heads. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. No gives. My totality eclipses the cosm. Such tedium. My mind is my arcadery. <laughs> These guys are not playing very well. This bores me. Who 
Where is the rest of our team been while <laughs> we've been like soloing these guys? I do not know. Alright, so I've been casting a lot of spells as you can see. I, I mean, I have preferences kind of like anybody else that plays the game generally. It's like, you know, I forget about certain spells, other players that other players would not forget about, but it happens. Um, what do I want? Hmm. Game's pretty much over at this point, hypothetically. I shouldn't have this much farm, but I'm gonna pick up a Perseverance just to get a little bit more HP. So let's do a couple combos quick. I'm gonna do a Tornado. Um, meteor combo. It's gonna be summoning so Tornado into Meteor into Deafening Blast. And it's gonna be awesome. somebody getting shot. Committed. And here they come, possibly. I wanna do it on. Oops, I'm going to. And I'm still not used to these hotkeys. Should have a gem or something, but we don't. Words of power. All right, and that's pretty much the game. They didn't really, not that the team fights were that amazing, but their uh, general composure was not good enough. Alright, and we win the game, so... Alright, uh, thanks for playing, guys. Appreciate it. Um, for I'm sorry, thanks for watching. Blah, you guys were not playing. Uh, I was playing pretty sloppy there, since my hotkeys were all different. I kept pressing D instead of like the actual hotkeys for everything, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to figure this out in the future. Maybe I'll just get used to how I used to play, but... Um, I don't know, we'll see. So I, I played pretty well. I, I didn't play that great by any means. Um, I, I mean, my stats are great, but they were kind of bad players. So whatever it happens. Um, thanks for watching, though. All right, if you guys want to see more from Dota Cinema, please press the subscribe button for them. If you want to see more from myself, I also have a YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash purgegamers. Please plus press the subscribe button for me. And I think that's about it. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.